that sometimes people are not seeing you. They are seeing a future version of you that you have not woke up to yet. And that's amazing and scary and exciting. But in that space could be a massive opportunity that you could completely blow by grabbing hold of the familiarity of the last version of you where you've been for 10 years, 20 years, and you stay there. So you, you don't swim far from that shore because you're afraid of uncharted waters ahead. And sometimes someone comes like Jesus to Peter and says, I see this person in you. Let's call him Peter. I know now you call this and you do this and you're a fisherman and this is who you are. But I see this other person in you. I'm going to call him Peter, which is a million miles from who you are now. And I'm going to help you get there. And I think it's some version of that that, again, I want to give language to because I think this happens for all of us, maybe for you right now in your life. And I don't want you to dismiss it like I did initially, because I think at 65, with decades of work in self-awareness and personal development, nobody can rock it up into my world and say, I see this in you. And I'm like, get out of here. Because I would know that. So I want you all to Drop your guard a little bit around that, I suppose, and just be open to the possibility someone is seeing something in you that is in, is in embryo form, is in beginning stages, and because you don't see it, because you're so blinded by your own attachment to an old version of you, you think it's not there.